In this tutorial, we're going to step away from the armatures and the bones for a few lessons, maybe several lessons, and we're going to focus exclusively on curves just for a little bit. And this is really important because once you get this aspect of it down to a science, then going back to the armatures and controlling those through the spline IK objects become a lot simpler. And it kind of sets up the basis for why you're doing it anyway. So I have in here a Bezier curve. In fact, I'll just say I'll shift S cursor to the selected so I know where it is and I'm just going to exit out so you see it from the beginning like I like to do always and I'll just press shift A add a curve bezier like that alright so there's the curve in the scene and if I just go into edit mode with tab there's the end points you only got two points here so I can with this one selected I can press G and move it around or I can grab an end point like this and move the change the curvature like this all right, or maybe I'll press E with the center point, and I'm going to press Shift Z. So that I've actually added another point to the curve, but I kept it along the X Y plane as I was doing it for that time being. But you can extrude it up into Z if you'd like. All right, so I have three control points associated with that curve. All right, well, one of the things for using a curve is we've used it, we've used curves for curve guides for particle systems before. That was pretty powerful, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my cursor over here a little bit and I'm going to add say a circle. I'm going to add a curve circle like this. Not a mesh based circle. I want a curve circle. Okay. I'm going to scale it down a little bit and it's called Bezier circle. Then I'm going to go grab the curve and I'm going to go over to this curve object button because you see it shows up as a curve because it's a curve. If I was if it was an object it shows up as that upside down triangle okay so sometimes that'll change on you so you see the curve button here I click that and then I come down here and see where it says bevel object down in here I'm gonna just click in that and I'm gonna go click that bezier circle and what that does it basically extrudes that circle along the path of that curve like that and the beauty of that is that you can come back in here and I could just scale this circle now and now you're changing the curve like that. I can move it out of the way. It doesn't really matter It's because it's associated with that like that. So that in and of itself is really powerful uh, property of curves and objects. But now they say there's something else. I'm going to move this up above the plane just a little bit. All right. But now say I wanted to change the shape of this object. All right. So the path. So I'd have to go back into edit mode and get the curve points and take this and move it like this and leave here and I've changed the path but that's not really going to help me do an animation because I'm having to go in and out of edit mode like that so what I'm going to do instead I'm going to use I want a way to be able to control this curve in object mode essentially so when like for instance I want it so maybe when this ball is roll, moving around the curve is maybe moving around also well I can't do it with this in edit mode so I have to be able in object mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this sphere right here. And while it's selected, I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm also going to click the curve. So now they're both selected. And now when I go into edit mode, there's my points, but you see the sphere still has that little red line around it. So there's some kind of association with the two when you select it like this. And now what I want to do is I'm going to take this point here and I want to basically hook it to this sphere somehow so when I move this sphere it moves the curve and to hook it you use uh, the hook you use a hook modifier but what we usually do is you, a couple ways you can do it you can go up to curve and you go to control points and you go to hooks like this or you can just oh, I'll do it and you see there's these options here or I just use the shortcut key control H Alright, and it says hook to new object, no, hook to selected object, yes, because that was the object that I selected in advance, so that's what I want to use. So when I do that, I've just hooked this object to that control point. Alright, so now I'm going to leave here, get out of edit mode, and select this only. You notice this relationship, that's not a parent-child relationship, it's a hook relationship, essentially. Now, so now when I take this curve and move it, now I'm moving it in object mode right yes 
right? I'm controlling it that way. I'm not just controlling. If I was parented to it, I'd be moving the whole curve like that. Well, so then we could go do the same thing. I could just grab this and say shift D, X, move it over here, maybe move it over here a little bit. And I'm going to move, uh, I'll always press U, make it a separate object, data materials and texture like this. It's selected, I'm going to press shift, right select that. They're both selected tab mode. I'm going to grab this control point instead. Then I'm going to press control H again to get a hook. Add the hook to the selected object. All right. Notice there was more menu items because I already had a hook now in the scene. All right, so I can leave edit mode, and now this one is hooked to that. So now I move this, and that's moving, right? I move that, that's moving. And I could do it to every single one that I had in here. Well, the ideal way in a lot of cases is to hook, create a hook for every control point in your curve because how else do you control your curve? Right? Well, that's really the only way. So we do one more last time just for practice. Shift D, X. I'll move that over there. U, do that. Hold down the Shift key, select edit mode, select that point, control H, hook to selected object, leave edit mode. Now that's hooked also. So I have three of them, three of them there. If I wanted, of course, to move them all, I could just select all three objects like this. And then when I move it, now I'm moving the whole curve like that. Right? Or I could just select the outside objects, whoops, I could get that one and that one, and move that, and then I'm just moving it this way, okay? So that's a powerful little technique, and I'd say just practice that for a little bit, and just, you know, get used to goofing around with it and having comfortable, getting comfortable, and then we'll continue on with the next lesson in the next video.